hello guys and welcome in this tutorial video i'm going to demonstrate to you how to record or process expenses and incomes on an income statement on sage pastel accounting so you can see that on the screen we have an income statement open for this company called health store so you can see that we have an income statement from the period 1 March 2015 to 31 March 2016. So the fact that it goes, it runs until 31 March 2016 is that this company is using 13 period um, financial year. So you can see that we have sales, we have cost of sales, gross profit, other incomes, and we also have expenses until the net profit or loss before tax right there so you can see that on the net profit or loss we only have a loss because what is processed as it stands is a depreciation expense right here so if you want to know how this depreciation expense was recorded there is a video that i did that i was recording uh, this particular depreciation expense so this depreciation expense was constituted of motor vehicles and furniture and fittings so on the motor vehicles it was 700 and on fittings furniture and fittings is what it was 450 so if you want to know how to record this particular expense you need to uh, search for that particular video where I was recording the depreciation expense on stage pastel accounting so i'm going to close this and go back to our income statement right there so you can see that on other accounts we have we don't have any amounts there so what i'm going to do i'll select at least uh two of expenses and i'll take um two incomes as well and i'll also select the sales i'm going to process that and then you'll see how to take on those transactions that will subsequently come into your income statement so i'm going to close this income statement i'll click on the process tab when i get to process tab remember that when you process your expenses you need to differentiate between cash and non-cash items so if, if it's a cash item you need to go to the cash book so i'll go to the cash book to process one of the expenses when i get to the cash book i'll go to the payments side the period is on the last period and i'll leave it on the general ledger account and i'll just take accounting fees as our first expense <clears throat> um first of all i had to go to settings and tick on tax processing and i'm going to take that to vet standard rated then i'll just close that so you can see that on the account i'll select accounting fees and then on the bank inclusive i'll just assume that you're paying this accounting fees a uh, cash of 520 and then i'll just update this batch So right there I have my first um, expense recorded or processed so you can see now that the bank balance has changed as well now what I'm going to do I'm going to process an expense that um, is not for cash so I'll go to process journals when I get to journals I'll go to general journal so I'll just assume that this account is uh, 
depreciation for example it's a non-cash item so you'll remember that on depreciation we have 1200 balance at its tens um okay let me just take water and electricity so that i don't confuse all of you i'll go to the account and select water and electricity electricity and water and then you'll remember that water and electricity okay actually let's just stick to our depreciation i'll go to account and select depreciation and then i'll just assume that the depreciation that i'm taking on is 400 rand and then on the contra account i need to select the credit leg of this particular um of this particular expense so i'm just going to select motor vehicles for for for, for example accumulated depreciation then there it is i'm going to update this general batch then there i'm done with processing that particular depreciation expense now if I, I refresh this particular general ledger you will see now that our depreciation has changed from 1.2 to 1.6 and you'll see that also on accounting fees the amount has changed to 456 because of the transaction that we have just recorded that hit this particular account and then again i'm going to process at least two of uh two of our incomes so what i'm going to start with i'm going to start with uh rent paid so what i'm going to start with okay the tax processing is checked then the GCS I'm going to select the general ledger but I needed to be on the receipt side in order to record my incomes so I'm, go I'm just going to select <coughs> um, any income account <coughs> so i don't see any account i'll just resort to send the income and then i'm going to process this income at 450 and i'm going to update this receipts batch then when i'm done i'm going to close this cash book then i'm going to process the sales transaction now i'll go to process customers then i go to the text invoice i'll just select any customer there and then the period i'll put it on eight so remember that on type you select the item code if it affects the inventory <coughs> so i'll click on code and select any product and then on the quantity i'll just click on the search bar to see the quantity that is available so we can see we have 10 quantities 10 message balls available so i'll assume this person is buying two 
at price of 520 inclusive of VAT. So I'll just update this text invoice. Then there it is updated. Now I'm going to go back to view and view the income statement. So as you can see now, we have our income statement processed. So you can see that we have our sales, we have our cost of sales because of the sales that we have um, processed and we have accounting fees, we have depreciation and if you scroll down, you will see that the entity has a net loss of 781. <coughs> and then if you want to see what went into an account on an income statement, you just have to click on that particular account and then it will drill down uh, to so that you can view what really happened in that particular account. So that marks the end of this tutorial video. Tune in for more videos in the future.